What's up, you guys? So it's time for another hair review. This company is called LouHair.com, and in this box is an elastic band and also a wig cap and this beautiful unit. Okay, first of all, I am so excited about this hair because I love the color number 30, which is Auburn. This is a body wave. This is a lace frontal, 250% density, 22 inches, pre-plucked hairline the lace color is medium brown and of course like I said the wig construction is a lace front and it's a Brazilian virgin human hair lace front the wig's name is actually Candace and I'll post all of the information below for you guys you can also enjoy 10% off with the coupon code LUHAIR10 but I'll make sure to post that down below as well so first of all when I got this unit it is a body wave you know what I'm saying but this is what I did just to make it you know like give it on my own personal little touch I did bleach the knots in the unit it is all one color but you know you can still see the knots just a tiny bit so I did use my 30 developer bleach um 30 developer cream and along with some of uh, some bleach so i did put the bleach on for like i want to say like 25 30 minutes and then i did rinse it off and i used the mark daniels um purple shampoo to rinse it off with or just to make sure that there wasn't any type of brassiness i actually used the mark daniels on the entire hair which gave it a little bit of a lower color it wasn't so brassy looking so it actually did hook the hair up and along with that i also used the mark daniels purple conditioner and the leave-in conditioner so as you guys see right here i am just trimming away any excess lace because i'm just trying to make it look as natural as possible on me i really do like this hair when i washed it i let it dry i air dried it i actually hung it upside down to dry so that's why it has so many waves in it so it is supposed to be a body wave but if you guys can see it looks like it's loose wavy hair and I absolutely love loose wavy hair so I decided to just wear it as is but when it came to me it did have like more or less like the body wave form the body wave texture you know the body wave style but after I allowed it to air dry this is what it looked like and I was so amazed with that because girl so I'm trying to figure out right here where I put my other clip at. You know how something is like right in front of you, but you still don't see it. So that's why I was just sitting there trying to think like, April, are you going crazy? Because I know the clip was there. Now you already know what this part is all about. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have to explain it to you guys. I also did pre-pluck pre some more of the hairline. Like I was really impressed that they did it for me, which was great. I really didn't have to do too much, which I really do appreciate. But you know, just to customize it and make it your own, your own to your liking, you will need to pre-pluck it if that's what you prefer. So I did go ahead and just do a little bit extra, but it does come pre-plucked and it does come, like I said, with the extra elastic band. So, and I did go ahead and sew on an, elas an elastic band myself so now on to just styling this unit um, for one it is 250% density and I love full hair so this one was perfect for me the length everything I just love this color a lot I'm more or less getting into like more colors blondes and like this Auburn is like the perfect color and crazy thing I didn't even have dark roots normally I have to have like some type of dark roots but for this one I did not so I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite Dollar Tree hair mousse which is by Salon Selectives and I'm just going to just distribute that evenly throughout the front portion of my hairline and as you guys see I'm just pushing it on and backwards onto my hair so that way I am more than sure that it's on the lace as well as on some of the hair like the baby hairs and even the actual hair itself so that way when I do style it it'll all just adhere to my head now you guys already know what this green toothbrush is about this is my sculpting brush like seriously this is the only brush that I'm, I mean I'm lying I will use other brushes but this is the one that I take with me if I'm leaving and going out of town this is the one that I prefer to use the most so I'm going to take my sculpting brush and I'm just going to brush some of the hairs towards the back because I don't want too many baby hairs. I don't want it to be too thick. I don't want it to just to be too long. But at the end towards my ear more or less, I do like like the sideburns to be like that. When I do the sideburns, it also helps lay the wig down at the end so that way there's no flapping. But also the styling mousse is also helpful as well. Now I don't really use glue like that. I haven't used it in a long time. I did do an experiment using the Janet Collection glue, which is the firm 
um, Isha Firm, and it does hold for the day, and it does actually hold for the day, but it does get just a little tiny bit messy, um, and I prefer not to be bothered with any type of mess or residue on my lace unless, you know, it's like critical, so I prefer to use the mousse along with that. I'll use the Pump It Up Super Hold Hairspray that you did see me use right there. And I'm just going to continue to sculpt my hair and just perfect the baby hairs. They don't have to be perfect. Like, you know, they can go any direction you want. You just want to take your finger and hold it down in place and then just brush it back onto your hairline or just brush it into the design that you desire. Now onto the front. The front is always like the most trickiest for me because that is the actual front portion of your hair and that is where everybody draws their eyes to. So I wanted to make sure that it was perfect so I am cutting away a little bit more of the lace because I felt like it was too far down and even though I always say my head is long, it is, I really don't want my hairline to be too far down on my forehead because Trust me when I tell you, I'll look kind of awkward if I have the lace down any further because I'm just used to my long forehead. So I'm just going to go ahead right now. And as you guys see, excuse me, I am using a different toothbrush. Now this one I've had for some time and I mean, I guess you can call it sculpting brush number two. I don't really know why I switched up real quick. But anyway, I'm just going to try my best to make the front of the hairline look as natural as possible. You know, you don't want to see the lace. Um, it's always, to me, this is just my opinion, impossible to just like not see the lace, like unless the lace is super duper thin and transparent. Now, I would love to try transparent lace. Um, I haven't done that in a while, but you guys, transparent lace is the bomb. So just to make sure that my unit holds and adheres down to my hair on my hairline on my forehead i do use my favorite blow dryer and i do use it on a cool temperature which my thumb is actually pressing on that button right now and i'll just either take my sculpting brush or a rat tail comb and i'll press that into my hairline while i am blow drying it now i do switch back and forth from cool to hot or cool to warm just so that way i'm more than positive that the wig is going to stick down just for me using the hair, the hair styling mousse and the pump it up hairspray alone works. Time for, you know, one of my favorite candies, which is the trolley worm. So I'm just going to, you know, chew on that while I style this wig. So the wig is actually adhered down like seriously, you guys. For those who don't believe me, trust me when I tell you, I can go days with just using the mousse and hairspray to hold my wig down. Like I can sleep on it. I'll put on a scarf in the middle of the night and it is stuck to my head like it's not going nowhere. It works for me. Like I'm telling you guys, it works perfectly for me. So if you guys are ever interested in giving it a try, just try some mousse out. It doesn't have to necessarily be the Dollar Tree mousse. That's just what I like and it works perfectly. But it should and has to be. Um, pump it up hairspray and it has to be the super hold the regular is not going to really hold it like that so definitely try it with that or you could try it with one of your favorite hairsprays that have like a really good hold so as you guys see this is how it came out and like i said it is a lace frontal i did do a little bit of parting in it um as I stated, I did bleach the knots, but I actually think this hair is gorgeous. Just a little bit of water will definitely wave it up. So that's the number one thing I'm impressed with. I do see like the highlights in it from me using the toner by Mark Daniels, but it's just gorgeous. It's long, it's full, it's flowy, it's curly. It's just so pretty. Um, I've never actually worked with this company before and I've actually never heard of them, but I will say this for the first go round, I really do like this hair. You guys know I love me some wavy hair like for real. Hmm. Wavy hair is the best type of hair I think because you don't have to do nothing girl but just put it on and go like I did. Now had it been the body wave I would have had to style it up and do all that good stuff. But being that it just washed and dried wavy. Hunties. Yas. I'm feeling this. And you can definitely pull it up in a ponytail using the hairspray and the mousse method as well. Trust me if you don't have a blow dryer you can definitely just put on a nice silk scarf and just wear it for like a good 10 minutes and it will also adhere and you will get the same exact hold. But being that I was just a little bit pressed for time, I went ahead and decided to just use my blow dryer, which I actually do like to use on a regular basis. And in my spritz bottle is just some Dove conditioner and water because I don't want to spray just plain water on any type of hair because it will definitely dry it out. 
So if you are spraying water onto your hair, I would suggest making sure that you use some type of conditioner in it. It doesn't have to be leave-in conditioner, but just some conditioner mixed with water will work. And at this portion of the video, I was talking to my grandson and he was telling me to smile because he was taking pictures of me with his Kindle. So, you know, we're having a good time in the room. So I decided to put it in a high ponytail because I just wanted to show you guys the versatility of just rocking one of their lace fronts from Lou Hair. I think this wig is actually gorgeous. Make sure you check their website out. You can save 10% off if you use their coupon code Lou Hair 10 This is, like I said, the Candice wig. 22 inches how knees color number 30 virgin brazilian body wave hair and it's a lace front so i hope you guys enjoy let me know what you think of this unit and as always make sure you rate comment subscribe you know had to make sure those baby hairs was on fully of course but yes you do get like some really cool stuff you get you know the elastic band the wig cap and the box was actually really cute too so i ended up throwing the box out because listen i'm not really trying to be a hoarder i was going to keep the box because it's not a cheap flimsy box you know i could have put something in it but listen honeys i just threw the box out i have to keep myself from keeping all these boxes sometimes because i just don't want to be on the next hoarding video so you guys as always let me know what you think you know i hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you stay diva and divalicious make sure you check out the description box and i'll see you guys real soon bye